Hey, what up guys? As the title of the video says, I'm taking out these Olimar Intercept one length irons to the course for the very first time. I've only gone to the driving range once prior to this round to try them out. Uh, that being said, if you wanna know my long first impression answer, just skip down to the end of the video, or if you wanna talk about it more in length, join the Discord. So that being said, let's head out there and see how I did. All right, hole number one, start off with the pull hook. Uh, the driver wasn't cooperating with me today. I was hitting a lot of things to the left. That's because I was swaying off the ball. That being said, I hit a good second shot over the creek and it goes into this sand trap, but I'm over it and I'm happy about that. Uh, you don't see where this lands, but it lands really close to the hole. So I got this really short one for par. So I'm even through one. Feeling good. All right, I know the main focus of this video is gonna be the one length irons. Uh, so please ignore this pull hook to the left. Uh, I fortunately end up on like around the tee box area of one of the adjacent holes. And the first shot with a five iron with the one length ends up going pretty well. Pretty easy to hit a shorter length five iron in my opinion. And then I just hit a wedge that isn't a one length uh, length onto the green. So here is my birdie attempt. I just slam it past the hole. Uh, if you keep watching, you'll notice that I have a pretty good putting day. Uh, made that one that went past for my par, so even through two. All right, now I'm just pulling out the mini driver because the driver is not cooperating. Just poke this one down the center of the fairway. And so my approach to the green, I'm using this long gap wedge. Same length as the seven iron. This one flares out to the right, but the distance wasn't actually that bad. So here is my chip onto the green, very tough green. It slopes down to this bowl and I end up rolling it maybe like five to seven feet past. And so I have a decent length putt for my par. So here's the par putt attempt and I'm draining it. So I'm even through three, feeling pretty good. All right, taking the driver back out here, ends up drawing this one, didn't pull it that hard. So luckily it wasn't that bad. Unfortunately, I end up in the sand trap. And so I take out the five iron to try to get it up there. Hit it kind of thin and it faded it, which I really don't do with my irons at all. So that's something new. And then I have this short chip onto the green. And yeah, I leave myself with a decent length putt. So here is the par attempt. And yeah, this one I barely just missed. So tap in for my bogey. And now I'm one over. All right, next up is probably one of my better drives of the day. This hole you can kind of cheat over to the right if you hit it long enough. And so I don't even take out a one length iron next. I just take out my, my sand wedge and I just hit it onto the green. And I have maybe a decent look at it that's like, you know, 12 feet or so. So here's my putt. Okay, a little bit more than 12 feet. Uh, but guess what? The putter is feeling hot. So I'm back to even par. Look at that. All right, this drive I end up hitting pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, it ends up going into the sand trap that you see in the middle of your screen. Uh, so I take out a long iron here and I end up just shanking it to the right. And so I'm in this junk, but I take the gap wedge, which is a you know one length length, and I hit it pretty decent. So it gets onto the green and I'm pretty happy with the result here. So here's my long birdie attempt, maybe like a 20, 25 footer. And boom, I end up draining that. So I'm one under at this point of the round. And I don't think I've ever been under par at any point. So this is pretty exciting. Uh, this next hole is a medium sized par three. I end up hitting this iron short of the green. And here's my putt. And man, I thought I was going to do it again. Spoiler, I don't end up just tapping that in for my par. So one under at this point. All right, this next drive ends up being pretty good. It goes over the sand traps that you see in the middle of your screen. So I'm set up for a pretty good approach into the green. Uh, this one length iron that I took went a lot farther than I thought it was going to go. I was still trying to get the gaps down and the shorter irons I hit shorter than I normally do. And the longer irons I hit just about the same. So that being said, I end up chipping on the green and it goes all the way to the front. It rolls maybe another like 20 feet or so. So I have a massive putt for my returner just for my par. So as you can see, I'm really far from the hole and I'm just trying to get out with a two putt here. And yeah, if you look at that, that's pretty much what I do. I end up tapping that in for my bogey and it was a huge slider. So luckily that went in and now I'm back to even. 
All right, even through this point, can't believe it. I end up hitting my drive to the left-hand side, and normally it's pretty safe over there, but I couldn't find it. So unfortunately, I just take a drop and take a penalty, and so I'm hitting uh, four onto the green, and so now I have to chip on and try to get up and down just to save double. So here's my fifth shot because I took a two-stroke penalty, and then I have this decent length putt for my double, and luckily I end up making that. So two over after nine, Pretty happy about that, but unfortunately, I lost a ball. All right, the pull draws continue. I end up landing in the adjacent fairway, but now I have a pretty straightforward approach with the one length iron. Like I said, still trying to get the gaps down here. Uh, this seven iron goes a lot farther than I anticipated, and so I'm over the green. And so here's my approach onto the green and trying to just get up and down to save my par. And I hit a pretty close chip. But yeah, just end up low signing that and getting a bogey here. So three over at this point. All right, next up, par three straight away. Still kind of get the gaps down, and this one ends up being a little bit short. It is weird trying to swing every club like a seven iron. That was no exception. Uh, the chip ends up being pretty decent. Um, I had this short one for my par putt. And yeah, unfortunately, I didn't hit it aggressively enough, didn't play enough break, end up getting another bogey. So at this point around, I'm actually pretty satisfied with the performance of the one links. I mean, the results, you know, you can't complain about almost shooting even par in the front. Uh, the driver ends up pulling to the left with the draw. Not great. So I just pull up in my cart, hit my ball really quick with the hybrid, and just get off the other fairway. And so I end up being, you know, wide right, uh, chipping onto the green for my next shot. Unfortunately, the topology on this one slopes front to back for me. So I end up hitting on the green with my chip, but it rolls off the back. Uh, and this one, I just wanted to putt on and then try to just, you know, save my bogey here. So this is my look for bogey. I probably should have taken a little longer to, to line it up and, you know, uh, putt it out, but I didn't. And so end up getting a double there, uh, six over at this point. So here's another attempt to hit a one length iron into a short par three. I uh, end up chunking this one into the sand trap. Uh, yeah, and I'm not the best sand player, as you all know goes past the hole and now I'm up on this little hill. So here's the best attempt that I can make with this chip and it just has no chance of stopping and it runs through and now I have a long putt just for my bogey. So here's the bogey attempt and I missed that so I have a double bogey for eight over. All right next up is a par find that goes to the left. Um, it's no longer as challenging as it was because they took out a ton of trees. Uh, I end up behind these trees and end up punching with the one length five iron, which I have no trouble with. Ends up being pretty easy of a shot. Uh, next up, I take my super hybrid. I pull draw it to the left and I'm now behind the trap uh, chipping onto the green, which is a very difficult chip. So this green slopes to very left to right from this position. You can see where my ball starts and it just ends up rolling off. So at the end of the day, uh, I just end up putting here. I just want a two putt to get out of the hole and to end up with the bogey. And this one ends up being pretty close to where I just tap it in. And so I end up with a bogey on this hole and now I'm nine over. All right, put the mini driver in play here. Hit a really good drive off the tee. It goes over this trap on the right hand side. And so I'm clear to go for my second shot into the green. So here is a one length shot. Felt pretty good. Got the distance dialed in on these. And yeah, so now I have a look at birdie. So it's a very long look at birdie, mind you. But yeah, here's the first putt. Uh, ends up going kind of far past the hole. Uh, but hey, I can't complain with that first attempt, even though I don't clean it up for par in my second, uh, second putt. So end up with a uh, bogey here, and now I'm 10 over. All right, next up, just take out the mini driver. And even the mini driver was drawing more than I'm used to. Unfortunately, this is a longer hole, so I had to take out my three hybrid on the next shot. And yeah, I ended up flaring this out to the right-hand side straight for these carts. Uh, luckily, I called four. No one got hurt or anything. I didn't hit anyone, and they all had joked about it, saying I, they wish I would have hit one of their playing partners or something. <laughs> but that being said, I chip it on the green, and I have this lengthy one for par. And yeah, and I end up missing that one. So I tap it in for another bogey, 11 over at this point. All right, so this is the last par three, an attempt to hit a green regulation with the one length irons, and I ended up missing it to the left in the sand trap. So that being said, uh, not a great sand player, as you know. Chunk this one out into the right, and so I'm on a down slope uh, on the right side of your screen. 
can't stop it on the green and it just zooms right by the hole and so I have a long one just for my bogey attempt and yeah don't don't get that one very close uh, just tap that one that one in for my double and so at this point I'm 13 over all right so very polarizing front nine and back nine here uh, end up just taking a mini driver and yes missing again to the left I know it's been the case of the lefts all day uh, that being said, I just took out the 5-iron one length and just poked it down in the middle. Felt pretty good. No complaints there. That's the one benefit of one length. The 5 and the 6-iron are really easy to hit. Uh, and of course, the 7-iron is the same length, so it feels the same. This is a gap wedge that I end up hitting on the green, so I'm getting the distances finally dialed in. And so I have this look for birdie. And it's these ones that keep you coming back. So I ended up round with the birdie and 12 over overall. All right, as you can see... Can't argue with the results here today on the course. My first impressions are kind of mind is blown on these. Like for $230 irons, um, did not expect them to feel this good. Not to say they feel like an awesome forged face or anything, no. But if you peer it good, I mean, it's going to feel good. Uh, that being said, there's quite a lot of offset, especially on the five and the six irons. And I think the hardest thing for me with one lengths is hitting the eight iron through gap wedge the same and them being longer. I know that they say that all the time, but that's kind of the difficulty for me. And it's really easy to hit the six iron and the five iron. And I even picked up the four hybrid, uh, a Cobra four hybrid in this one link set. So first impressions, pretty solid. Um, quality overall, just okay. I mean, the Olimar namesake was bought by Hereco Golf, which is a, you know, kind of like a multi, Malt B equivalent that operates out of the city of industry in Southern California. They bought the Olimar name and started making these one length clubs. Uh, yeah, only $230. And I did shoot a personal best with them at Corka Park. I shot a 78. And I mean, I've been driving the ball a lot better and putting a lot better. And these are also, you know, in, in, in play as well. But yeah, you can't argue with the results here. So um, if you want to talk a little bit more about them, join the Discord. I'm there. I'm pretty active. Uh, there's only like a handful of us anyway. Or if you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll try to respond to you. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Keep chasing and I'll see you in the next one.